whatever. Hello YouTube, this is Stefan for Bushcraft Holland. I was challenged to uh, show a technique when rappelling. Of course when you are going to rappel and you have a group with you and all the members of this group are going to rappel, you use maybe three points to attach the ropes, but there's always one that comes down last and has to bring all the stuff down. And this is what this technique is all about. So what you can see here, I made a knot. And I attach a carabiner. And let the rappel line go through the carabiner. Of course, I tie a knot in the bottom. So what happens? I can now use only this rope to rappel. I don't have to use double rope. Why is this important? Well, for instance, when the distance is too big for this one rope, I can attach to this side another rope because I'm just going to use it to pull the rope down in the end, as I will show you. And then I will be able to use the entire length of this strong rappelling rope to do the actual rappel. So what happens is if I do this, it will lock down. When I'm down and safely on the ground, I untie the knot, of course, first. I take the other end and I just pull the rope down. So in this way, I can rappel on a single rope and still get all my stuff back. Of course you have only one attachment point, so this can either be a tree or maybe uh, a steel bar on a building or maybe just some anchors that are in the rocks. So I was thinking well how can I make this even more secure and I haven't seen this on the internet or anywhere else, so I'm calling it the uh, Stefan switch. What I do is I take another piece of rope, but this, of course it's can also be a sling. Attach this side also to the loop I made and then attach this carabiner underneath this one. The same thing happens when I go rappelling. Of course I'm tying the knot. Don't forget to tie the knot. So you know when your rope ends. So this is the same construction, but this is extra. Because what happens if this one fails, as I'm going to show now. I'm still hanging on this one, so there's no problem. Actually, when I untie the knot, and start pulling the other side, all the stuff will come down. So that's the Stevan switch, as I call it. I don't know if it exists already, but if you know this one and it's not mine, just let me know. I will change the name to the real name. Okay, what happens if you don't have all these carabiners, but maybe just one? What you're going to do then is just lead the rope directly through there. There will be no friction because this will be static, not dynamic. So there will be no friction of the rope, rope rubbing against rope. Because it's always a bad idea. Again, tying the knot. taking the sling or the other rope, whatever you are, you are using and connect this to the loop with the, a lark's head and then I do the same. So this ju just uses one carabiner. And what happens now is the rope will snag a bit because of the extra carabiner but only just for a moment, only when the two meet. So from this point on 
of course I have to remove the nut again. It will come down the same way as before. And if at any point tying the nut again, if at any point this belay fails, I'm still hanging by my security. And of course, I'm tying the knot below. Still able to get all my stuff done. So this is a technique and you use this as an instructor. So it's not for everybody. Uh, you have to be skilled in these techniques already. So don't try this at home. Uh, try to learn this or introduce this at uh, the place where you're working or where you're practicing climbing. Okay, once more, the loop. I'm going to use the carabiners again. So the part I'm repelling on, tie the knot. I'm using a surgeon's knot because it's, it's nice, nice and tight, nice and thick. Okay, I'm going to use the three carabiners now. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Okay, so this is the safety, the extra safety. Also in this mode, what you will notice is that it's snagging. But just the one point, the one point where the carabiners meet. And if you give it some extra spell, it will go down easily. No problems there. So this is just a little technique. Practice in your garden, not on big heights. Just try to master this technique. Discuss it with anybody you want, uh, with maybe more knowledge, uh, as more knowledge about this. But it's a very nice technique. It comes from the, the caving. We use it a lot in caving. If actually, I learned this one from Caveman Peer, except for the stave on Twitch, of course, with which I pulled off myself. Okay, always be safe when repelling. Get good instructions and take care, but also have fun. Bye bye. Whatever.